welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some elusive henchmen. That's right, it's Meme Tier Monday. We're going to have some crazy decks. This one and the next one in particular are going to be extra meme for those of y'all that really like doing some weird things. So this one's going to be built around the 5 mana card Midden Stone Henchman. Alright, so 5 mana 5-3. Five, with Nexus Strike, summon an exact copy of me. So exactly what it, uh, whatever its stats are, whatever keywords it has, you get an additional copy if this can strike the Nexus. So it's really difficult to strike the Nexus with a five mana five three, um, especially when your opponent wants to make sure that you're not gonna strike the Nexus with it. So we're, we're gonna need some help. So we're gonna be pairing this with Ionia and we're gonna be going with some elusives. That's what we're gonna try to do. So we're going to have Sumpworks map in here that can grant it Elusive, because when it's Elusive, it's a lot easier to strike the Nexus. So we're going to have the 5-3 Elusive, um, and plus, whenever it makes the exact copy, it will make an additional Elusive. So we're going to have both Sumpworks map and Fey Guide, both two things that can grant Elusive. So we're going to have both of those in here. Besides that, we're also going to have um, Shen. Shen's going to be able to protect your the Mid and Stoke Henchmen, so we attack. We attack with the henchman and we give the henchman barrier. Now the henchman doesn't have challenger or anything like that, but they're still gonna, like they really want to block the henchman because they don't want to give us just an additional henchman for free. So therefore like they're gonna block it, but we have the barrier. So, you know, it works out really nice. So we have the Shen there to support it as well. And then since we're also Ionia, we got one more spicy one at the top end. We got Dragon's Rage. That's right, Dragon's Rage um, strikes the enemy into the enemy nexus and so it strikes them both so this is a way to nexus strike so dragon's rage does count as nexus striking so our dragon's rage on a henchman would create an additional henchman copy um, whatever the henchman is like so we have that now um we're not always going to have min and stoke henchmen and so if we have like these elusive cards and like these ways to nexus strike we want to um, have other cards to take advantage of those. So we have something like River Shaper, where if we just give like River Shaper Elusive and start striking with River Shaper, we can draw some more spells. So that's pretty awesome. And then also Kempunk Pickpocket. If we can Nexus Strike with this, we can um, create, also create random spells, but just from the enemy's deck. Um, and so then that's what that's what our deck's kind of about. It's about all that stuff also. Then we have Vi. You know, Vi is a card that we can make uh, have a ton of power. Vi works amazing with Shen with, with getting the barrier, but then also Vi with Elusive, whenever you're talking about like a 10 power Vi with Elusive, that can uh, finish games out pretty quickly. Plus like a 10 power Vi uh, Dragon's Rage. That's also really cool because that's, you know, that's, you know, another way to do a bunch of Nexus damage. Um, yeah, and you can't, unfortunately, Dragon's Rage is slow speed, so we're not going to be able to um, strike, a, you know, Dragon's Rage a unit while attacking to do even more damage to the enemy Nexus. That would be cool if we could, but that's not how that works. All right, but that's our deck. All right, so it's it's Meme Tier Monday. Let's go have some fun. We're going to go play five games here. All right, I'll set up the prediction. All right, so... We're playing against, oh no, my least favorite thing in the world, the Invoke decks. They're pretty good. All right, so we're playing against an Invoke deck. Um, our opening hand's good, though. We're just going to keep this opening hand. Mystic Shot's the one that's a little bit questionable, where maybe we don't really need a Mystic Shot. You name it, I'll nick it. But Mystic Shot can take down... You know, like one of these things, these Solaris. That's that was basically the point of the Mystic Shot. Cool. Clad in shining sunlight. Oh yeah, they're a hush deck. Yeah, that's hush. The dawn has arrived. Hush is like cheating. The sun splendor reveals. I was planning on mapping the Shen and then supporting the pickpocket, but we're just gonna map the pickpocket and try to hit him. Hush is cheating. You cannot. 
sway me. Because they're all they also like could have like sharp sight. So like they have like sharp sight and hush. They can have some real good stuff. Yeah, that that wasn't a bad trade for us though. We, you know, like we traded two mana spells and two mana units. A little surprised they didn't just block with the Leona. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. I sense an imbalance. Face my shield, back heretic. Alright, we're going to see if we can kill the Leona. That would be nice if we could. That card's still cheating. My father's blade. I don't really want, so that just saves the 4 damage on Shen. I don't really want Shen to be, yuck. I don't really want it to be a 3-1. I will shield my people as long as I draw breath. Oh, this is only 1 out of 4 with the barrier? Oh, because because it was hushed, so then it didn't count for the second one? Gross. Yourself. Die weakly. Immediately. Kind of assume that's like Pale Cascade or something. We walk between realms. Don't be calling no enforcers. <laughs> Yep. Do I want to use the Sonic Wave Challenger thing right now and kill one of these? So which one would I kill? I guess I would kill the 5-2 Warrior. I think I kill the Warrior. Well, no, because then this is going to... No, yeah, I guess we kill Leona. Leona can be pretty powerful if they, have, if they find a Robin. Because the Shen's going to level up. The Shen's going to be a 4-6. So it won't just die to the warrior blocking it straight up. The guilty will ban. No mercy for heretics. Stay back. Sharing is caring. <laughs> So Spirit's Refuge would have given the Shen plus 3 plus 0, so it would have killed the Radiant Guardian. But I wanted to wait for it. Um, to, I wanted to wait to use it, like, here. Balance favors you. Because, like, while while I could have killed the Radiant Guardian, I, I basically would have rather killed that uh, Challenger. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. All right, well, we're out of cards.
That's interesting. I find them unworthy. Trouble coming at ya. So we can cast it three times. Believe or burn. Hold back the darkness. Stay back. The guilty will burn. Dang. So I can let it happen and get a new Vi. I could, if I cast this, we don't get a new Vi, but it... We could level... Yeah, it's not worth it to level up Vi. I think we just let it all happen. Alright, so I guess at the, at the end of the day... I guess we're not in the worst spot at the end of the day. Like, they, they have two cards, and I have two cards, and we have a Kempunk pickpocket in play. What form will the waters take? Oh, that Mystic Shot would have been perfect to have before all that. You know, like, be able to respond to that single combat with. Vi stands for violence. That would have been perfect to respond to that single combat with. And kill that one, too. Well, that's fair. Your favorite star. I created it. Oh. Now they'll pay attention. You've done it this time. This looks pretty over. Cloudless sky. I tried with this. Alright, GG's. I guess their tier 1 deck beat our meme tier deck. Okay, Yasuo Swain. We need some revenge for losing to Yasuo Swain with our last deck. There is a Mid and Stoke Henchman. I love Mid and Stoke Henchman and Dragon's Rage. Um, the problem is they're a deny deck, but... Oh well, we're gonna force them to have it. This could all work out really well, you know, like, like Shen support, Henchmen. I know I don't have anything to do the first three turns of the game, but that's what our, our draw steps are for. We'll find something else. Uh, I just, you know, I want all of this stuff Think you're fast? later. The worst thing that can happen is my opponent plays like an early, like, Fae Blade Twirler that gets really big. Your own speed. Okay, that's not getting too big. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Mm. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Now who's got the upper hand? Yeah, there. This is a, you know like the aggressive, aggressive start that they don't usually have, but you know it is possible if they have multiple Fae Blade Twirlers. Come on. Cute. Nothing a good kicking can fix. Yeah. Alright, cool. Just take six. I will just take six. Gladly. So I go. I don't want them to just have a, a you know blade twirler block shen. Cause they're gonna be i I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna be stunning the henchmen. Here, right? Like that's that's my assumption is that they'd want to stun henchmen. Right, so like giving giving the henchmen elusive doesn't really help. Because they just do that. Then they would block and kill my Shen. The balance will decide your fate. It can try. Okay, so I have barrier for Ravenous Block. Come on, Dragon's Rage. Yeah, I got barrier for that. Thank you. Okay. Rain from a cloudless sky. We got a new mid and stoke henchman. We did it. We are henchmen kill a Yasuo. Unfortunately, they have all these blade twirlers. And that's not cool. 
but Stand United's not bad. We could we could go Stand United. The King Koo go where they are needed. You act, but do not see. But we did it! We did it! We dragons raged at Yasuo. We really did it. Okay. Keep your head down, okay? We're doing it. Underestimate. I dare you. You fragile. Lots of things to smash. I'll use twin discipline to keep the henchmen alive. Oh, it's on. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should just let it happen while while they're allowing damage to happen, and I just get I just get another elusive henchman. Because I don't want to do like the twin disciplines, and then they no. Because if, if they would have a stun, they would have just stunned right now. If they would if they'd have a stun, so I don't think they have a stun. I don't think they would just let it happen if they had a stun. Okay. This is awesome. We're actually we're actually doing it. It's a good deny. I will let it happen, actually. Gonna let it happen so I can have deny available. That's just greedy to use deny on that, isn't it? Oh wait, I guess it, this does threaten killing them because they're at four. And this is five damage, so I guess, yeah, we'll threaten killing them. There we go! Henchman's rage. Make it more henchmen. You fought with honor. All right, so we're playing against Feel the Rush with a whole bunch of Mina Swiftfoots. Bunch of Mina Swiftfoot. Some denies. I wish we had the attack token on turn two for this pickpocket. I kind of want to keep all of this, though. I guess we're going to get rid of the Sumpworks map. So I have... Uh, I have Refuge to protect pickpocket from Avalanche. Or I have... Faces of the old ones. Probably not Avalanche. Say, or I have um, Gotcha to kill a ramp card. Smells like opportunity. Cool. Killing ramp cards. Good. I walk the space between worlds. Cool. No avalanche. Oh. So I go. Man, I'm sorry, Minutes Don't Catch Man. I want to play you, but this is just the better play, I think, to just simply, yeah, uh, simply attack. Singular Will is in their deck? Whoa. Singular Will is in their deck. I will boot that. These are Through the snow. OK, 
Okay, so I'll still have six mana left. Check out the goods on this one. Enforced equilibrium. Maybe should even like bear. Make sure you even bother bear barriering that. Barriering that. No. I will deny that. No, thank you. There we go. How about that? Minnesota Kenchman. Get the aggro, get the counters. You fought with You know, they blocked for their first ramp card, we killed the second ramp card. Got to challenge the trundle, counter the field of rush. GG's. Men and Stoke Henchmen. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against the elites. Usually they have harrowing for their Shadow Isles spell. Deny is very good against harrowing. Um, it's also, I guess they have a, they have good targets to deny, actually, because they have like For the Fallen, which is also really good. Um, yeah, let's, let's keep this. So I want no one drop. No one drop, please. No one drop, just pass turn. Good. Because now they play, oh, I guess I can't play Pickpocket and Mystic Shot this turn. I can't do both. Alright, right, well, there's their one drop. What you looking for? Hey, Kendis. Good I'll afternoon. So, yeah, because I can't, I can't, uh, Mystic Shot. Yeah, I couldn't do both to clear the path for the pickpocket. Ooh. Gotcha is interesting. So it's... The, the card that I want to use the Mystic Shot on is the two mana um, thing. No. Well, that's too bad. Hoping that was going to, you know, work and then I could pickpocket attack them and create a card, but still, eight a single combat. So we're five and five. Discipline and steal. Hmm. River shape the land and give it life. Show them our metal. Alright, their three threes a little bit bigger than mine. I always forget the name of the card. Um Ooh. This is kind of tough. I could use Sumpworks map now on the River Shaper and strike them, or I could save it for the henchmen. I think I'm supposed to save it for the henchmen. My heart and sword for the exactly, yeah, I'm glad they're using the single combat there on the small unit, not on the henchmen. Hey, Vi. Ready to do my part. Cyphria, isn't it? Keep up the good work. One girl wrecking crew! Yeah, they probably don't want to trade Garen for Mid and Stoke Hedgeman. But they should have. Can you get him, Henchman. Alright, you just go challenge one of these. Get him, Henchman. I guess we go barrier. The problem is, is like switching the spot, right? Like now, now I don't get to create a new henchman by switching the spot. But I guess I'll still draw a spell with the river shaper. Cool. That's a good. Because I feel like they have like some really important things to deny, and I want to hold on to deny. But they have like some other like really big expensive spells. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Like to cast Dragon Dragon's Rage, but let's hold up deny. Okay, ooh, Fae Guide can grant something elusive. Let's go. I go Dragon's Rage here and here. Cool. Now I'll do five to them, plus create another elusive with another hen another henchman. That seems like something that's important to deny. 
There we go. I deny that. And that's game. I could have also just let it happen and then made another elusive with the Fey Guide. Maybe that would have actually been better. Just make another elusive with the Fey Guide. You know, our henchman deck is sweet. We're three and one. Let's get started. Okay, so we're playing against just... Hmm, just Jinx. I think this may be like a, a Poro deck or, you know, something like that. We played against something that looked like this before. but So yeah, I think they will have like the Poros that can block the elusive anyway. So maybe we don't really need this elusive. Sonic Wave is kind of nice of allowing Claws the Dragon to come into play for free, but obviously I don't really want to make the River Shaper Challenger. Maybe I should have kept... Yeah, maybe I should have kept that, uh, give Grant something elusive. Ah, you missed. You're supposed to hit their guardian. Missed again. Got pretty bad aim. I am one with the land. Intruders. Very good gotcha draw. Would have been best next turn <clears throat> to have the gotcha be able to take down a Jinx. Maybe they're not a Poro deck. Along, little ones. Eh, that looks like a Poro deck to me. Um, now let's hold on to gotcha. Probably gonna need gotcha to kill Jinx. Wow, another Claw of the Dragon. Rain from a cloudless sky. The dragon remembers. Alright, well that's kinda cool. Alright, that was pretty cool. No, that's not cool. So I could Mystic Shot this thing, but <clears throat> I'm just going to hold on to Mystic Shot. I don't know if it's really that worth it. It's just a, you know, 2 2 4 herder with, you know, no other, you know, no real text right now. We'll see. Maybe we Mystic Shot it later, but, you know, maybe I want to Mystic Shot like the 2 2 Poros, like the elusive ones. Over Enforcer on the scene. Yeah, I don't know what was in their hand, but it was not good. They really didn't do very much at all that game. That's too bad. They, they really didn't do very much at all that game. But that's how it goes. Sometimes you just draw really bad. You know, and that's that's what happened with my opponent. Too bad for them. Uh, how they drew. Yeah, they probably just had a couple of Aurora Porealis. Maybe. Or, or maybe they had, like... They could have had, um, you know, the eight mana card. Maybe they just had some... Yeah, maybe they had some give-it-alls. That could have been something that was in their hand, was like, give it all, or maybe, you know, Aurora Porealis. Uh, you know, like that kind of stuff, or, you know, maybe even some more Poro snacks that they just couldn't really do very much. All right, so there we go. Uh, that's Elusive Henchman. Really impressive. Like, yes, the, the really good Targon deck with all the Invoke cards, you know, that outgrinded us. But it was still a, a pretty interesting game. But then, um, and then that last game wasn't really that interesting with my opponent not really doing anything. But the three in the middle were all really good. And we had uh, Henchman doing its thing. Um, yeah, that was actually really cool. Henchman with Dragon's Rage. That actually worked really well. Um, you know, we had like the, the Fey Guide, the Sunworks map. Um, those those did really good of, you know, giving the Henchman elusive or giving some of these other things elusive. Shen, Vi, both of our champions were awesome. Uh, Pickpocket and River Shaper did their thing. This deck did pretty good. Very happy with this one. All right, so there we go. That's uh, Henchman's Rage, or the Elusive Henchman. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, what do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? Are there any of the new cards that you really want to see uh, for a Meme Tier Day? Let me know if there are. 
um, you know, like that. Yeah, let me know if you got any ideas for uh, new decks you want to see on at Meme Tier Monday whenever we'll have those new cards. Um, this one worked really well, though, and this is what Meme Tier Monday is all about. We had some fun here. All right, but anyway, that's it for the Elusive Henchman. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.